Laziness. To be lazy or not to be lazy? That is the question. There are experts that claim that if a person would understand the psychological motives that cause him to be lazy, then he'll successfully get out of it. In my eyes, that's quite optimistic. Because what they're actually saying is that every person can lift himself and become a less lazy person. Now, I have a very good friend. That's the king of the lazies. He tells me all the time, who says that it's bad to be lazy? I told him, you know what? I'm tired of arguing. Let's just ask. Dr. Leipium, why is it bad to be lazy? Who told you? There's nobody lazier than me in the world. I'm always struggling to be a little more active. How do you struggle? Raise the importance of what I need to do. Meaning importance is what can lift any lazy person out of bed and do something with themselves? Of course. Why did nature create man with these qualities of laziness? So he won't do too many bad things. It's a security mechanism? Yeah. To stop man from ruining the world too much so it can still be corrected. Wait a second. You confused me. Laziness. Is it good or bad? Laziness is very good. What's very good? I would add to each person additional laziness. So he'll just barely, barely be able to get out of bed, shower, dress, eat something, and go to work. That's what I would do. Why? People would do much less bad things in the world. When is it good to be lazy and when is it not good to be lazy? Connection. Nice relation with people. Mutual aid. In this, it's worthwhile to invest all of one's available forces and even more so. And when is it okay to be lazy? and everything else. That much? Yeah, and that will be good. Dr. Leitman, we've reached the end of our show. What can you wish us? Let's be a little more lazy. The Torah doesn't tell us arbitrarily, sit and do nothing, better. What does that saying mean? That if a person does nothing, it's better than if he does, than ruining the world. Yeah, because then if he acts, he'll only do necessary things.